Steve, one of the things you talk about, which I think is really interesting, is the idea of modelling behaviour, of mm. modelling behaviour that you want to become, that you want to be. Just can you talk about the role of modelling and how one goes about that in terms of success? Yes. Uh, the, the context of that um, is, it was kind of, when I, when I was writing my book, I was putting together a series of steps for personal performance, if you like. The modeling bit was you've got all the tools, you know where you want to be, you've set some goals, you've got you know, a system around you to get feedback and corrections along the way. Uh, what, what improves your chances of success? And the point about model, I think I wrote down the phrase, model what you want, you know, uh, which is a way of saying, don't, don't keep looking forward and going, well, I'll get, when I'm there, I'll have it. Um, start behaving like it now, right? Um, the new language on that, is a phrase I use in all of my events. It's one of my top tips I share all over the place. I call it act as if. And whenever I use the phrase in front of an audience, there's a bit of a pause, because what do you mean, right? Act as if. Um, act as if is really about modeling. It's about being something. Right? So you've done all the prep, you've got the knowledge, got the skill, got the ability, and you act the best version of you in any given situation. So it isn't pretending. Right? So there's a difference. Like modeling and acting as if I'm not, they're not pretending. I can't stand and say, you know, put a, put a surgical mask on and get a scalpel, meet you in 10 minutes outside, lie you on a table and slice you from your sternum to your lower abdomen, with, you know, because I'm acting like a surgeon. Because I'm not a surgeon. You'll just die. You'll bleed out, right? So, you know, you've got to act as if is where you act the best version of you, where you, you put yourself into the character, the performance that you want to deliver. It, a great, a great examples of act as if and modeling are when you do um, high, high, um, high pressure moments, like, for example, you went for an interview. And you know that you have to perform at your best that interview. So you've done all the preparation, you know, you've learned what you have to say, you've got all your experience, you've got your anecdotes and stories you're going to tell, and then act as if you've done nursing for 30 years, assuming you've done nursing for 30 years. Act, when I walk on stage, the toughest audiences, I, I, well, I say toughest, that's not fair, in terms of, I said, well, I suppose I, assess, I put more emphasis in my own head about how, how much harder I might have to work is with teenage audiences, because I've got less in common with that, with that group of people, because I'm, I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm 52. I still think I'm a teenager. So you stand at the side of the stage, and I've got to walk on and get their attention and win them over and chat and share ideas that I hope they're going to listen to for an hour. The head of year 11, let's say the 16-year-old, says, when we've got Steve Head, who's you know, here to talk to you today about helping you through your exams, and the audience go, Head, oh, that's a funny name. And I get, you know, and I'm standing at the side of the stage, on show, with a mic, ready to go. So the strategy is you act as if. You effectively act the best version of yourself. And an act as if is being the best version of you that you can be, which comes from a place of experience. So I happen to have done, what, 15 years speaking, 1,500 presentations or something crazy. So I have been in front of many audiences. I've had different situations. If you act the best version of you, there is, a, there is a psychological principle, and the phrase goes like this. Act as if, because the basic psychological principle is you always become the way you act. Right? That's the principle. That's not me making that up. At a psychological level, you become the way you act, assuming you've got the ability. You can't pretend to be something, because that's just faking it. That's different. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying it's not the same thing. But if I present it 1,500 times, and I act as if I present it 1,500 times, and you always become the way you act, guess who turns up on stage? Nerves don't really play a part in that. Right? There's no anxiety attached. So I model the best version of me. But it's not superficial, right? It's not superficial. If I, I love golf as a, as, a, as a hobby. If I go on a golf course, I'm not a brilliant golfer, but I can play some great golf. And I find it sounds like daft things, but if you go and buy a nice golf shirt, wear some nice golf trousers that, you know, I don't know, your favorite golfer wears, if it's Tiger, if it's the Tiger Woods when he was at his best, or if it's Rory McIlroy or Jordan Spieth or whoever, if I wear Under Armour stuff or whatever his brand is and um, other brands available, you know, if I wear Under Armour, if I wear, you know, my gear and I've got all the kit on and I've got my golf clubs are polished and I get the club and I put, and I stand on the first tee with the same balls the pros use and I'm, you know, and I, and I've practiced on the driving range for a few hours, I'm not going to play like Jordan Spieth, because I'm not as, that would be faking it, that would just look daft. But the best version of me might turn up that day, because if you act as if, you always become the way you act. So maybe my score will be better that day. 
right? Turning up with a pair of jeans, which you're not allowed to at club anyway, but you know, a pair of dirty shoes, a, a t-shirt that you've been w w washing the car in. For me, you, you're setting yourself up to make it harder. Do you know what I mean? It's, 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 that's the principle for me. Act the best version of you, and that's what the modeling principle is about. Because the more you model it, the more likely it is it'll turn up. You're already there before you get there kind of thing, is what I'm saying. And how, how do you, is it purely the modeling to make it happen? Because obviously everybody has good days and bad days, don't they? Everybody has, yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't, I don't mean good days on the golf course, but I mean everybody has days when they get up and they're in the zone, they're excited to do the yeah, speech, yeah. excited to play the game, whatever it is, and they're ready to go. And acting as if is, is almost easy. And then there'll be other days when perhaps right. You don't feel so great, you've woken up with a headache, things aren't quite so good at home or whatever else, and you've got to go into your sales role and act as if. But you know, you know that's exactly what I teach people, because the whole point of act as if, it is a basic psychological principle. You become the way you act. Now, I accept if you're ill, you know, if you're genuinely not very well, if you've got a stinking head, cold, you know, got a pneumonia or something, then clearly the, that version of you with the best will in the world, won't be like you on, a, on your A game, you know. But on the scale of the normal kind of day-to-day -day variations of how you feel, most audiences, when I ask people in big groups, do you ever get out of bed in the morning and don't feel like it? You know, just, 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 oh, I've got to go to that. Yeah, we have days like that. I've got to drive six hours and I've got to go, do you know what I mean? We have days like that. Um, it, but if you, if you apply the principle of act as if, which only works as long as you actually can. I'm not pretending again, I'm just bringing the best version of me. More often than not, when I walk in a room, a really good version of me does turn up. It didn't feel like it before I got there, but when I walk on stage and I'm suited and booted and I've got my mic on and I'm going, right, <sighs> done this before. Act the best version of you. What things do you say when you act your best? What do you look like? How do you hold yourself? When that guy walks on, within five minutes, how I felt an hour ago is completely gone. Now, I'm not saying, and actually, it even does work to a degree when you're not that well, because I've been up some days and I've thought, I should be doing this. I, and I've been asked the question, how are you? And you, you, know, you want to go, I feel terrible, you don't. You go, I'm fine. You know, I've had some new, new friend, paracetamol. You know, I'm not saying do drugs if you're miserable, but you, you know, I'm not feeling great. I go on, act as if, bam, turns up. There was, there was a study done, right? This is absolutely true. The two psychiatrists, psychologists, was it? They uh, found out uh, certain care facilities were abusing patients with mental illness. So they, because they knew the history and the mindset, they adopted the uh, persona of two schizophrenic patients. Undercover went in to the last six months to discover all the bad things that were going on. And then they would reveal themselves and say, aha, we've got you. The sad part of the story is that after six months having acted as if they were schizophrenic, they both ended up diagnosed with schizophrenia. Now that's an extreme example but that's how powerful it is when you act as if. So if I act as if I'm the best present, not presenter in the world, but the best version of me doing what I do, that guy's probably gonna turn up. That guy's gonna hit a golf ball a little bit better to the within my capability. That guy's gonna be a better dad. That guy's gonna be a happier guy. That's the principle of act as if.